Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom as I'm about to embark on season one, episode three of Ted Laszlo. I'm gonna keep this intro way shorter than last episode, but badness, badness is on the horizon. We see how much Rebecca hates her ex-husband and how far she is willing to go. She's gonna have suggestion pictures of Ted and Keely release that we know is not right. Badness is gonna happen. Ooh, uh. I'm already experiencing the horror <laughs> and that's just in my mind. So that being said, I'm excited to see it. <laughs> sure, okay, so thank you so much for being with me. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And you can also watch this full episode along with me on Patreon right now. So if you're ready, I'm going to get locked and loaded. My beverage of the evening is a White's Lemonade. If you know, if you know, let me know what you're drinking. Also, let me know where you are. I would like to find out. So yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> She's that excited, that happy. That happy for this day to go horribly wrong. Well, I guess it's not gonna go horribly wrong for her. Anything, anyone, cut it down. Who would have kept it all, not you? Oh, is it not considered newsworthy? Just Wait, is it not considered newsworthy? Terry, call shithead. Oh, he's on her phone as shithead. And he's got four boys. Nothing. Are you in your office? Of course I am. Then get up here now. <laughs> knock, knock. Hey, boss. I don't know about you, but I had an absolute peach of a Sunday. Biscuits with the boss. Oh, <laughs> that is her crack. Speaking as we were mere moments ago about time, I unfortunately don't have any. But I loved how she had her tea ready for that shortbread to go right on the plate. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Counting the minutes. Yep, there you are. Does he bring her cookies every? Well, okay, he brought her cookies the day before and the day before that. So is he planning on bringing her shortbread every day? Every day. What am I saying? I live next to five bakeries, so. <laughs> sure. <laughs> There's something that's coming all the way down. He hasn't learned their position names yet. And this here is our current offense that we are running. And I think it stinks. You might be wondering, why did I draw all that up there just to erase it? I was ex thinking that exact thing. And that is because I believe in symbolic gestures. So I am officially on the prowl for any new ideas, you hear? Oh. Is Nathan going to become a coach? Fire away. What do you got? Okay. Well, it's just, um... <laughs> he has notes. You know what's embarrassing even? I just... Sorry, Nate. I have a real tricky time hearing folks that don't believe in themselves, so I'm gonna ask you real quick again. Do you think this idea will work? Yeah, I do. Whoa, why are you screaming at us, Nate? I love how Coach Beard was right there along with him. So you use Jamie as a decoy? No. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, in, yeah, in this case, yes. I don't think Jamie would like to be a decoy because he's the star. For those of you who live in the UK, do you strut? I've seen some strides, but I have never seen any struts. This was going to be the front page of the sun today. Manager oh. Shag, star player's girlfriend. Well, I think a more accurate headline would be manager innocently feeds a young woman whose relationship does not define her. So how'd she get it down? My friend who works at the paper said he can hold this story for one day oh. as a favor. Oh. Guess what the headline will be? Jamie's top breaks Tot's heart. Did you just come up with that? Yeah. Wow. Everyone would read that. Of course they would. I mean, you have no idea the power of rhyming in this goddamn country. Mm. Oh, Lasso makes Paso and creates Team Fiasco. Whoa, Keely's got bars. Yeah, I am cute as a button and I can rhyme my ass off. So how, how do you get around this? Hey, boss. Ted! And Keely, hello! So, we got ourselves a situation here. Go ahead, show the picture in. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna find the piece of shit that took this and who hired them. I know the owner of the paper. I can get this stopped with a phone call. Great! 
Let's see. There's no way she could trace that photo back to me, can she? Yes. What do you mean, yes? I'm not a spy, Rebecca. I'm just the director of football operations. Was. Was. Then the decoys through. Sam wide open. There it is. Yeah. He's, he's not happy about that. So we are all going to run two laps around this field. Anyone who loses to me has to run four more. Let's go! Oh, he's running it. He's running it. <laughs> Colin, <laughs> Isaac, <laughs> please stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Illinois is a state, fellas. Uh, one last thing. There's some gifts up in y'all's lockers. Your little cubbies up there, so hope you enjoy them. Little gifts? What the... It's all the same book? Different books. Oh, that's intriguing. Oh, that's intriguing. Nice one, bitch boy. Ah, uh, he's terrible. He's terrible. Hey. Yeah, I just thought you should know that your boy Nathan's been harassed every single day by Jamie. Right. So you know already. Yep. So you'll take care of it. No. Also intriguing. I learned two pretty big lessons on the rough and tumble playgrounds of Brookridge Elementary School. The teacher tells a bully not to pick on someone is just gonna make it worse. So you're not gonna do anything? No. But you could? He's the one, coach. We're gonna make an impact here. First domino needs to fall, right inside that man's heart. In his heart. In his heart. Roy has a heart. We have not been shown he doesn't. <gasps> Here it comes. Hey, can I ask you something? Do you even understand the influence you have on this team? I'm the shit. No, oh. you're a bell end. But because your right foot was kissed by God, the boys look up to you. It's made me question my own faith. Oh. Because Nate's a weak babe and he can't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Keely with this man? Why is she with this man? Yeah, all right. I'll take care of it. Nate's a good lad. All in, Isaac. Come here. Oh, but they look up to Roy. Hmm. Do it some more. Keep it up. Makes me laugh. Fucker. Fucker. I don't. <clears throat> he needs his comeuppance. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so I spoke to the owner of the sun. You spoke to God? <laughs> MVP! MVP! <laughs> left leg! Whoa, okay. Right leg! Not as yeah. good! <laughs> In exchange, I've agreed for his more reputable newspaper, The Independent, to do a profile on you. Trent Graham! And he's very good, and the supporters really listen to him. Oh, no, I know Trent. Yeah, he's a tough cookie. Hmm. But that's okay. You know what you do with tough cookies, don't you? You eat them. Dip them in milk. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> out of way, Sammy. How'd that feel? Oh, wonderful, Coach. I felt that one in my penis. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jamie, you got to sell that run through hard. He's never going to sell it. Well, you want me to run decoy? Yeah, that's right. It's a joke. No one thinks it's funny. I found it hilarious. I thought it's funnier than Step Brothers. Ooh, high praise. <laughs> the scene where the bunk bed collapses. <laughs> I used to think that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen, but then I just saw that. And now I'm going to have to rethink my order of what I think is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that's when sports and art combine, as far as I'm concerned. That's such a... such a pull. Okay. Do you mean to tell me you're entrusting a Premier League team's attack to the kit man? That young fella's forgot more about this sport than I'll ever know. Heck, might be a genius. Anything to add, coach? Good kid. Get off, stop it! No. Hey, hey. <laughs> Jamie not talk to you about leaving him alone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, oh, he's taking this outside. I didn't sign up to be your boyfriend's minder, okay? But the new gaffer's trying to make me feel responsible for f***ing Nate. I 
done up being tricked. <laughs> not by you, and not by... How do y'all cowboys? My name is Ted Lasso, and I'm from Kansas. Wow. Wow. Really bad at impressions, man. But I cannot be manipulated. Come on. I could push all of your buttons right now if I wanted to. You would listen to I'm me. Just to listen. listen to you. I could tell you why. So tell me. Is that making you mad? I'm Roy Kent, and I get paid to play a game. Ooh. But I'm mad all the Ooh. time. Oh. Do you feel it sends the right message, having a party after a loss? Well, Trent, I've never really concerned myself too much with wins and losses. Now, that's a quote I'll probably use. I just wanted to come and thank you again for stopping that picture from running. <laughs> and I bought you a present. Oh, is Rebecca gonna get a friend? Made me think of you. It's strong and a bit prickly. <laughs> you know, I've decided to not be scared of you anymore. I didn't know you were. <laughs> My God, Jamie would have been so pissed off with reporters poking around in our love life. I don't know why I'm telling you. You know all about that, don't you? Yes, you do. The press are never awful to men. No one ever pays a fortune for a photo of a naked man on a yacht in Mallorca a week after his divorce. Whoa, that's like a very specific scenario. Oh, my God, that means there's a picture of you naked on a yacht. Can I see it? Is it here? Please. <laughs> <sighs> Oh no, she's gonna see all the other pictures on her laptop. Those are your real tits. I feel like a teenage boy. I can't stop staring at them. Oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, you really blew my brains out with those beautiful breasts of yours, Rebecca. Little, little, a friendship. <laughs> Please welcome the new manager of AFC Richmond, Ed Lasso. Oh. Oh. All right. Hey, gang, how y'all doing? Wanker. Mmm. I know someone else who's really excited to meet all of you. The captain of your AFC Richmond squad, Roy Kent. Good move. Good move. Right. Right. <laughs> Old school, really. Always seemed like a waste of time to me. <laughs> That's it, thank you. Why don't we get out of this stuffy auditorium? Go out on the pitch and have a proper fuck about. <laughs> He's got away with kids. What are you doing with my fucking niece, guys? Here? Oh, yeah? Which one is she? That idiot. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, the heart, the heart is growing some more. Perfect. Next. Head. Next. <laughs> oh, here we go, baby. Let's see what you got. Hey, nice catch. We might have ourselves a goal. Oh! <laughs> Good job, Phoebe. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> oh boy. Sorry about the blood there. I'll get the minute tissue. I'll tell you what, that niece of yours is a real cutie patootie. Enough. I've had it with your mind games and your stupid gifts. I mean, what even is a wrinkle in time? It's the story of a young girl's struggle with the burden of leadership as she journeys through space. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Am I supposed to be the little girl? I like you to be. <laughs> And I'm counting down the days until you're gone. Trent, you're a colossal prick. You always have been. Hmm. Phoebe, come on. Ted Lasso, you've been out. What are you doing here? Wait, I mean, you invited me, remember? I invite every person who's been in my car. Oh, oh the driver. Please, me. Congrats. You both just met a cool person. <laughs> are you okay with a little bit of spice? Have them make it for us like we're a couple members of the family. <laughs> You're a brave man. <laughs> Can't imagine they have good Indian food in Kansas. Oh, I have no idea. I've never had Indian food. What? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> I don't think I can eat that. <gasps> but you're gonna eat it. Now, we gotta put a decent dent in this, mm. otherwise we're gonna embarrass Holly in front of his family. Just mm. don't blow mine. Oh. 
Yeah. Eat the rice, eat the rice. Don't put as much sauce on it. Why did you leave to coach a sport that you can uh, barely uh, you know anything about? Was it just the money? Wait, I'm supposed to be getting paid? Ted just pulled the hot ones on him. Instead of chicken wings, it's Indian food. Weakens Trent's ability to concentrate. What do you love? Is it writing? Yes. Yeah, well, good, because you're darn good at it. I love coaching. For me, success is not about the wins and losses. It's about helping these young fellas be the best versions of themselves on and off the field. And it ain't always easy, Trent. Neither is growing up without someone believing in you. Who didn't believe in Ted? Who did not believe in Ted? I really enjoyed getting to spend this time with you, Trent. You actually mean that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Witch's voice was grave. <gasps> He's reading it to his niece. That it has to be me. It can't be anyone else. Oh, look how far they got into it. Fuck! Have an advanced copy of the article. Mm-hmm. Read it to me. Title? Wayward Ted. Whatever you... Kansas. Wayward son. I assure you, the truth is harder to swallow. Ted is out there in the community, either bravely or stupidly facing the music. <laughs> and yes, he's in over his head. Ah. Uh. But if the lasso way is wrong, it's hard to imagine being right. Hmm. Mm. In a business that celebrates mm. ego, Ted reigns his in. <laughs> what I Roy? <laughs> I didn't know it was a retirement party. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, you are. Stop messing with Nate. Now, I don't know which one of you are nutted because I don't see so well at night anymore, but that goes for all of you. Slowly growing until you can no longer ignore its presence. Vanilla vodka. That's what's, that's what's on the table? Kaylee. Why? Whether that means allowing followers to become leaders, and though I believe that Ted Lasso will fail here and Richmond will suffer the embarrassment of relegation, I won't gloat when it happens, because I can't help but root for him. <sighs> Fuck! Where do I begin? What I loved about that episode, and is the same that I've loved about the first two, was how they do so much with so little. Keely and Rebecca finding that little bit of common ground. And I bet you, we don't hear about her friends or family. It sounds as if she's had zero support. Ooh, here comes Keely, possibly a new friend. If she doesn't, fuck her over. Just seeing Roy doing everything in his power not to be that guy. And he's that guy. <laughs> the different members of his community, of Ted's community, kind of coming up to him, being a little bit more welcoming. Ollie. The chauffeur, how much impact did Ted have on Ollie in that one trip from the airport to the stadium? And just with that one line with Ted at the table where he said, you know, it doesn't matter the wins or losses, but just. And it ain't always easy, Tramp, but neither is growing up without someone believing in you. So you know it's from a point where somebody didn't believe in Ted. He said it without saying it. Tell me nobody believed in you by telling me by not telling me how anyone believed in you. Yeah, that's it. You know what I mean. And I love how that subtlety bleeds through everything. Just like Trent said, like in this business that's about ego, Ted brings his in. He doesn't try to win people over. <laughs> he just tries to be positive. <laughs> So it's in your face without being in your face, but I wonder, I wonder if that's true. For those of you who have been watching Ted Lasso in different countries, not even just the UK, but all over, is Ted really loud and in your face? Because to me, he's about average. <laughs> Cause I know lots of people with that Ted level of energy. So it's not completely unfamiliar. Oh, well, that's an idea. That's something to consider. I'm curious about that. And also because my brain does this, I have thoughts about going forward, questions that I have that I would like to see answered, such as who did not believe in Ted in the past? 
Probably a father figure. More often than not, it's a father figure. Don't tell me though. Don't tell me the answer. I'll figure it out. But this is what I'm thinking. What will be the point if Rebecca churns from annihilating everything to destroy her husband? Does she make it to that point? And if she does, what turns her? Why is Coach Beard there? Is he only there because he's Ted's trusted right-hand guy? Does Coach Beard have a family? What did he leave behind? I'm curious about that. How long has Nate been with the crew and the kit man? <laughs> When's Keely gonna jump Jamie's ass? I would like to know that as well. Don't tell me, but I want to see that happen. And I saw a spark between her and Roy. Do I want to ship them? A little. Just a little. Because Jamie's such a nasty hat. And it's going to come. It has to come. The odds are it's going to come. But I don't want to see when Ted hits the wall. Because that is one of the most heartbreaking things in story or in real life is when that person he can kind of count on to be that positive when they get hit the wall and when they get hurt. Oh, it's crushing. Most recent example I can think of is Inside Out 2, if you've seen it, and they just hit one wall too many and Joy is joyless. She is devastated. And seeing her without hope was just, we're done, we're done. The world as we know it is at an end. Joy is joyless. Why are we even existing? We have to, laws of average, we have to have that with Ted. I don't know why I could take it. Oh. oh, that is to say, I'm enjoying myself greatly during these episodes and I cannot wait to see more. So thank you so much for being with me. Do not be strangers. Please hit subscribe so you know when other things that I'm watching have dropped. And until next time, please take care of yourself. And also, if you didn't, today, the day I am watching this, was a special day. I hope you took a moment to celebrate, but if you're not, here's a little taste. So take a moment, dance your ass off, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.